This is the electrical setup portion of the Kegtron Pro installation. Before you get started, make sure that you have everything shown here. First is the AC-DC power adapter. We have our international blades. We have 10 feet or three meters of power cable, a cable shroud, a flathead screwdriver, a terminal block adapter for the keg monitor, and a barrel terminal adapter. First step is choose the appropriate blade for your country. I'm going to choose the blade for North America. Just slide it into place till it clicks and then take the other guys and set them aside. The next step is to attach the wire to the terminal adapter. If you look closely at the barrel adapter, you'll see that there's a plus symbol on the left, that's positive. On the right side is a negative symbol. And we want to make sure that both terminals are loose by turning counterclockwise. And take our wire and line the red to positive and the black to negative. Insert the wires until they stop and then tighten the screws. When we're done, both screws should be tight. There should be no wires touching each other. And if we pull on the wire, it should be snug and not come loose. We're gonna do the same for the other end of the wire, but before we do, let's put the wire through the cable shroud. The shroud will help prevent moisture or liquids from getting splashed on the terminals once it's installed. Another handy thing to do is give the wire ends a twist so that the uh, wires stay together. Then take the wire terminal adapter and make sure that the leftmost openings are open. So we're gonna turn the screws counterclockwise until they're open. See now that they're both are wide open. Place the left terminal and the right terminal is black and red. Insert the wires and then tighten them into place. Like before, we wanna make sure those terminals are tight. There are no wires touching each other. And if we pull on it, then nothing's loose. Once we're complete, we can set everything aside and we're ready for the next step. This is part two of the Cagetron Pro electrical setup. In part one, we connected all the wiring pieces together. Now it's time to connect things to the keg monitor. First step is to take your AC-DC adapter, plug it into a power source. Then plug in the barrel jack into the barrel adapter. Last, we plug in the wire terminal adapter into the keg monitor. Before we do that, make sure that the polarity is correct. Negative should be black, positive should be red. If they're reversed, now's the time to change it. Press the wire terminal block into the keg monitor and everything should come to life. The orange indicator tells us we have power and the flashing green light means that Wi-Fi is not yet set up. 
When we install this in the final location, we'll take the cable shroud and we'll slide it over the trim the block to give us some moisture protection. We'll also use a zip tie to just secure it into place. We'll leave that disconnected for now. And that's it. If everything looks good, it's time to move on to Wi-Fi setup. If you don't see any power lights, make sure that your polarity is correct and that there's no shorts between any of the wires. This is part three of the Kiktron Pro electrical setup. This part is only necessary if you have more than one keg monitor. If you have just a single keg monitor, you can skip this section. What we're gonna do in this part is uh, connect our second keg monitor to the same power source as the first. To do that, we go ahead and build up the same power cable assembly as we did in step one. This time, instead of connecting the wires to a, a power adapter, we're going to share the power uh, terminal from the first keg monitor. Before we connect it, feed those wires through the cable shroud. Push it all the way through. We really need to smooth out those wires so that they'll fit into the terminals now. Just give it a nice twist. Then we take our first power adapter and we loosen the terminals like before. Turn counterclockwise until both terminals are open. Feed the negative black wire into the left and the right positive wire into the right. Screw down both terminals. Until they are tight. Make sure that they're snug, they don't come loose, and there's no shorts. And we can slip the wire shroud up closer. And now we'll go ahead and plug in both cable monitors. Everything's working well. They'll both power up with the same lights. And we'll just make sure that the cable shrouds fit. We'll secure them later with a zip tie during final installation.